All right, guys, this is a great way to train a large group of people in a gym. Um, you only have so much of equipment. I got, you know, eight BOSU balls, nine BOSU balls, and you don't want people crowded doing these suicide sprints. So a great way to break it up is putting them into three groups like this. So group one is doing those suicide sprints. Every pylon they got to go to, they do three burpees, run back to the first pylon, then go to the next farthest pylon, and so on. You know how suicide drills work. The second round of people are doing wall squats against the wall. Their legs are burning after those sprints, and now they're on the wall holding it as best as they can. And then the third round of people are doing different drills with the BOSU balls. I was having them do lunges, quick feet, squats, shuffles, push-ups, whatever you can think of. All right, I went through this kind of round with them, the set three or four times with them doing different things. Now they're doing like walkout push-ups, two at each pylon and shuffles in between. We're about 50 minutes into our workout right now. So these guys are tired, they're sweaty, they're feeling it, but I'm just pushing out that little bit more out of them. So a really great way to train. It keeps people organized, having room to, you know, move around and there's no dead time. The worst thing you can have is your clients, you know, a line waiting there, people waiting. No one wants to be paying to come to class and they're waiting and they're, you know, their, their hearts now, you know, lowered and they're kind of feeling like, oh man, like I could be doing something right now, la la la. So keep everybody busy, be very efficient with your training and, uh, you know, pushing their limits every single class. Super important. Okay. Hope you guys like this one. Try it out. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel and, uh, let's get after this. Let's kick some butt.